I think my boyfriend's close friend is trying to get close between his legs, and my boyfriend is low-key down for it, am I cooked? Posted by you slash throwaway saucel. My boyfriend Justin, 26M, and I, 23F, have been a couple for just over 7 months but started dating a couple of months before that. So, in all, I've known him for less than a year, and I'm already head over heels for him and feel like I've known him forever. I know it's still our honeymoon phase, but I've genuinely never felt this strongly about another guy before and have definitely never thought as long-term as I'm thinking with him. Justin is confident, charismatic, passionate, driven, intelligent, and emotionally mature. He values his family, is especially kind to children and elderly people, and has a presence that lights up the room. It also doesn't hurt that he's 6 feet 1 inch, handsome, has a yummy body, and is an amazing lover. Anyway, lol, the only real problem in our relationship, from my point of view, is his friendship with Olivia, 24F, whom he has known since her first year of university, so about 6 years. My boyfriend is smart with women, used to attention, and doesn't cross boundaries with them. The only time he comes close is with Olivia, and even then, it's mostly her initiating things. However, the way she behaves around him is honestly the number one source of conflict in our relationship. I am quite friendly with Justin's circle of friends now, and I hang out with them at least once a week, so things can be pretty uncomfortable for me. Here are some things that make me uncomfortable. 1. She is exactly my boyfriend's type, not really her fault, I know. I've seen a few girls my boyfriend has been with on his social media, and they all look more or less like Olivia. She's 5 feet 8 inches, athletically built, has cat eyes and a pouty mouth, and just gives off a captivating aura. I'm 5 feet 3 inches, in shape, and have a decent face, but it bothers me that I'm nothing close to Justin's type, and that Olivia is his type. 2. Olivia has always been nice enough to me, but when I first met her, she gave me an eyebrows raised, let's see how long you last kind of look. I admit I could be overthinking this one. 3. She's always finding excuses to touch Justin. For example, She'll brush food off his clothes or face or fix his shirt collar. She also likes to give him back hugs. Once, she hugged him from behind, and I overheard her saying, how come you never give me back hugs anymore? The way she said it was low and whispery, and it rubbed me the wrong way. I'm 99% sure an objective passerby could have interpreted her tone as seductive. When I brought it up to Justin, all he said was, yeah, that was weird, I guess. 4. She has this cute act she does for Justin when he doesn't want to do something for her. Sometimes, and this is probably weird in itself, she'll ask him to buy her something, like ice cream, and when he says no, she'll stand in front of him, pout, and make dear eyes. Or sometimes she just grabs him, pushes him toward whatever she wants, points to it, and does the cutesy act. 5. She greets him by saying hey, you, while winking and pretending to shoot him. 6. Justin only listens to Olivia. He's a pretty stubborn guy and doesn't really follow others, unless it's her. One of the things that bothers me the most in this regard is an incident that happened at a club. Justin and I were drinking with his friends when another group of people got into an argument with some of Justin's guy friends. Justin tried to defuse the situation at first, but the other guys were extremely disrespectful, and he was on the verge of fighting three guys at once. I kept telling him to leave them alone, but he just wouldn't back down, even after the bartender threatened to call the police. Then Olivia walked over, pulled him by the arm, and yelled, Stop, you're acting stupid. She dragged him to the bar, and they talked alone for 15 minutes. I know I probably should have gone to check on him, but I was pretty shocked and angry, considering what had just happened. One of Justin's friends noticed me watching and told me, don't feel bad, it's always been this way with them, which obviously made me feel worse. 7. Yesterday, we went to dinner with his friends. It was a warm day, so Justin was only wearing a t-shirt, but by the time we finished, it was windy and quite a bit colder. We decided to take a walk along the river walk, and Olivia suddenly wrapped her cardigan around my boyfriend's shoulders. He started joking around and posing like a model before giving it back, but I kind of wish he would have just returned it to her right away. There are a lot of these kinds of instances where Olivia does small, caring things for him, things that a girlfriend would do. My woman's intuition tells me that Olivia wants more from Justin than he's giving her. She's sarcastic and rude to him half the time because that's their dynamic and her personality. However, when he's not paying attention to her, I sometimes catch her stealing glances at him. Sometimes she looks smitten, sometimes she looks straight up lustful, and sometimes she looks sad. I think it's obvious she has feelings for him, but when I brought it up with my boyfriend, he told me they were just close. There is much more to add, but I'm just going to end with this, I understand that some people are natural flirts, but Olivia doesn't act like this with any of the other guys in their group. Her personality is pretty strong, she's sarcastic and relentlessly teases them, but there's no touching, no cutesy act, none of the small, thoughtful gestures, and definitely none of the misty-eyed gazes. Some of the guys even jokingly complain that they're jealous because she only acts like a girl with Justin. 
Yesterday, after the cardigan incident, when Justin dropped me off, I asked him to talk because I've been growing more insecure about his friendship with Olivia. We talked in my apartment for about an hour and didn't really make any progress. Basically, he agreed not to meet Olivia alone, but said that she was important to him. He told me about some things they helped each other get through in university and made it clear that he wanted her in his life. I tried to initiate bedroom intimacy with him after that, but he said he was tired and left. I cried afterward and called my older sister to talk about the situation. She told me that since Justin hasn't done anything to break my trust, I should continue trusting him and remember there's a reason he's with me and not Olivia. She also said that if he crosses the line, I need to be strong enough to leave him. I also called my best friend this morning. She, on the other hand, is convinced that Justin and Olivia were or are more than just close. She thinks I need to give him an ultimatum, choose the friendship or the relationship. Basically, I'm at a loss for what to do now. I love Justin and really think we have a future together, but his friendship with Olivia is driving me crazy. Is this just jealousy or my insecurities, or do I really need to give my boyfriend an ultimatum? I really, really like him, but I don't know if I'll ever be comfortable in this relationship as long as Olivia is a part of his life. Edit. Thank you all for your replies, I tried to respond to as many as possible. In reading your comments, my own post and doing some self-reflection, I realized that a lot of the issue stems from my insecurities and fears about what could be happening or what may happen in the future. I don't know why it's been so hard for me to stop rationalizing these fears and accept that they aren't indicative of what is actually happening. That being said, while I realize that a lot of my discomfort stems from gut feelings, there are still several things Olivia does with my boyfriend that are personally not okay with me. I understand it was wrong to even consider asking Justin to distance himself from her. But at the same time, if they really are that close and nothing beyond platonic feelings is being shared, I think that my boyfriend shouldn't have a problem establishing reasonable boundaries with a female friend whose behavior makes his girlfriend uncomfortable, and that female friend should understand and respect those wishes. I get that some things, like her cute act or other affectionate gestures, might just be part of her personality toward him, and that I'll probably have to suck it up and deal with it. But to me, it's reasonable for him to ask her to stop the more intimate physical stuff, like back hugs, grabbing his arm constantly, and brushing his hair, face, or clothes. Justin and I haven't talked much today, but I'm meeting him later tonight, and I'm going to tell him exactly what I've written above. I'm not going to ask him to stop being friends with her, and I'm not going to ask him to distance himself from her. I'm also going to ask him to clarify some things for me, like the extent of their physical relationship or if there's any romantic history between them that I'm not aware of. Some people might have an issue with this, but given the nature of their relationship and how often they see each other, I think he should be transparent. I believe this conversation will help me decide whether a compromise can be made, and I can learn to deal with their friendship in a healthy way, or if I'll have to do the hard thing and walk away, which I really, really don't want to do. Update 3 weeks later. I met Justin the night after I added the edit to the original post, with the intention of telling him that I was wrong for wanting him to distance himself from Olivia. However, I wanted two things, one, for him to ask her to tone down the physical intimacy, and two, for him to disclose the extent of their relationship in the past, like how far their physical relationship has gone and if either of them has confessed romantic feelings. This was something I had previously wondered about but always avoided asking him. That talk didn't go as planned at all. I thought he would be understanding and honest about his feelings, but he stonewalled me and was super rude, an all-around jerk. As soon as I brought up Olivia, he laughed, shook his head, and asked, are you really gonna do this crap again? I tried my best not to get emotional and just explain my point of view, but the whole time, he leaned his head against the wall, avoided eye contact, and played with his earrings. When I asked if he understood my feelings and was okay with what I was asking, he smiled sarcastically and said, of course, honey, with a fake tone. He got extremely angry when I asked if they had ever hooked up. His exact words were, you haven't even been my girlfriend for a year, if you think you're entitled to know every little detail from my past, screw yourself. After saying that, he walked out, and I cried. He had never spoken to me like that or expressed anger toward me before. I was shocked, hurt, and angry. Obviously, he was hiding something, whether something had happened between them or he had feelings for her, I didn't know. I wanted to talk with him again, so I messaged him, telling him I wasn't trying to make him mad but that I felt like we needed to talk again. He didn't reply to my messages that night, and by the next morning, he still hadn't responded. I never thought I would do this, but I sent Olivia a message asking to meet for coffee. Surprisingly, she answered almost immediately and agreed to meet in the afternoon. When we met, I told her about my feelings regarding their relationship, how Justin had reacted the other night, and I straight up asked if there were any romantic feelings between them. She admitted that she does have feelings for Justin, but that it was complicated. She said she loves him and hates him at the same time. She told me I should leave him, 
and that she wasn't just saying it because she wants to be with him instead of me, but because Justin has always been a player, charming and leaving girls for years. She said she's waited for him to change, that she knows she could never truly be happy staying by his side as just a friend, and that she should leave him too but couldn't. I thought she might try to BS me, but she seemed very sincere when she said these things. I asked her about the extent of their relationship in the past, and she told me that she was attracted to Justin from the moment they first met in university, but at the time, Justin had a long-distance girlfriend. After Justin broke up with his long-distance girlfriend, they got closer. Justin had some personal problems, she wouldn't tell me what they were, that he confided in her about, and this led to them kissing one night and having bedroom intimacy. It was her first time. She confessed her feelings to Justin, but he said he didn't want their friendship to be affected if a relationship didn't work out. They were on and off as friends with benefits throughout college. Justin had a handful of short-lived relationships during that time, and he cheated on one of his girlfriends with Olivia. She claimed they haven't hooked up since he's been in a relationship with me, though I'm not sure what to believe. After they graduated, their friend group rented a vacation house on an island. One night, their friend Ashley walked in on them in the bathroom. Justin told Ashley it was a drunk mistake, but Olivia was extremely hurt and refused to see or speak to him for weeks. After being ignored, Justin apologized to her, told her he had feelings for her, and they went on a few secret dates. However, Justin never committed to a relationship and later backtracked, saying he was confused about his feelings and not ready for anything serious. From that point on, they went back to being friends with benefits until Justin met me. I was a bit confused and skeptical about why she was telling me all of this, so I asked if she had any proof. She searched through chat logs and showed me multiple messages of him calling her over to smash. She started getting emotional and told me that while Justin has amazing qualities, he also has deep personal issues that he refuses to work on, which prevent him from being a good partner right now. I asked her what she meant, but she wouldn't tell me. I could see that she cares about him a lot. She's been single this whole time, and it seems like she's had plenty of opportunities to be in a happy relationship, but she's turned a blind eye to them all for Justin, who can't even admit he has feelings for her. Even though I didn't like some of the things she did before, I actually sympathize with her a lot. It sounds like Justin put her through a lot, giving her false hope, and then taking it away, and yet she's always stayed by his side for some reason. Before we left, she told me not to worry about throwing her under the bus because she was going to tell Justin herself that she had told me about them. She said she wanted him to be mad at her. Later that night, Justin called, trying to explain himself, but I broke up with him. I was crying on the phone, I really didn't want to break up, but I knew it was the right thing for me to do. Regardless of what was true or false about his past, it was just too much drama for me to handle, and the way he reacted when I initially tried to talk to him scared me. He didn't try to fight for me or ask me to stay. We just sat in silence on the phone for a while before he hung up. It's been about two weeks since then. I know Justin was probably bad for me, and it was only a matter of time before he broke my heart, but I feel devastated. I'm just starting to get back into my normal routines, but even then, sometimes it's so hard to get out of bed. I think about Justin every day. The more time passes, the more I think about the good things we had together. I miss his smell, his laugh, his touch, and just being able to be with him whenever I wanted. Part of me hoped he would reach out, but he hasn't. I met with Olivia last week, and she told me Justin wasn't talking to her anymore and that it was probably a good time for her to move on from him. Freaking liar. Last night, I saw Olivia upload a couple picture of her and Justin on Instagram. They were in a nightclub or some dark place, he had his arm wrapped around her holding a drink and she was sipping from his straw. I know it was a mistake not to block or unfollow Justin and his friends earlier, but after seeing that, I blocked and unfollowed them all. That was what finally inspired me to post an update. I don't know if Olivia played me or if Justin is working his magic on her again, but I feel crappy all around. It hurts now, but I know these people would have been toxic for me if I had stayed with him. It just hurts so much more than I ever imagined.